Hey everybody, it's Cinnamon Cooney. Your art Sherpa on the mic today is my husband John. Hi guys. We're not late because YouTube was having any difficulties today. It was just us because it was coffee and a couple of things that we were just <laughs> it was coffee day. Not getting our kit together today, but we're super excited to share this painting. That's what I do. I show you how to paint things, and today I'm going to show everybody how to paint the Grinch, who I'm kind of yeah. excited to share with you. I think uh, for especially this holiday, he's the perfect mascot for this holiday. I think we've all had feelings like he has, and we've all gone through those moments. And what a fantastic time and place to take all that holiday stress and frustration, take it out of ourselves, take it out of our souls, take it out of our hearts, and just stick it on the canvas mm -hmm. where all our drama actually belongs on the canvas, not in our worlds. Right. On the canvas. How you doing today, John? I'm doing pretty good. I'm gonna sip that coffee that I'm made us so late. Mashing today mm -hmm. for sure. Hmm? I'm button mashing for today for sure. We got some special tools today. We have, of course, our. I'm gonna show it. I guess the palette. Right. Acrylic glazing liquid gloss. Ooh. This just helps me in my studio. This um, slows down the drying time of my paint, and also allows me to glaze at the same time. And there. I, I, there aren't other products that I am aware of that do both in the same product. Interesting. I'm also using fluid paint today. I'm going to be using this carbon black and titanium white by Golden. It's Golden Fluid. I really like these. Um, I, I highly recommend them. But listen, craft paint is also soft bodied paint. So don't feel like you have to get a particular product just because I have it. Right? I'm just using what makes me happy and I'm just telling you honestly whatever that is. I have some of these. These are art tools, but I am told by my nail friends that these are also nail tools. They're not expensive anywhere you get them, and they, they let you make an easy dot. We have Texas snowflakes today that you're going to be seeing popping in and off screen. But listen on this dot thing. I have this little inexpensive uh, detail brush, and if you look at the back of it, it also comes to a nice point. So if you don't have this tool, just feel like you can flip your brush over, make a dot, have a good time. And then I'm going to use probably this two inch stiff white nylon brush, right, to put in the background. But you could also use this style brush or whatever. You could use this style brush to get the background in. <laughs> so that is the weird materials we'll be using today. Mm -hmm. And obviously Texas snowflakes. I, I hope you have yours. <laughs> Do you have your Texas snowflakes? We should share a link to where to get the Bryland tree and the snowflakes from, just in case y'all want that in your studio, too. I've heard that from some of you. More information about materials is in the description below, and you can find material, you know, more information at theartsherpa.com. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. We're on Pinterest. We're pretty much everywhere, and we like to talk to y'all wherever you're at on your social media. I'm going to sip another sip of coffee. We are not moving at a crazy pace today. Today is a paint-along pace. We have a lot of friends with us today. Do we? Do we? And we have over 270 friends with us today. And you know what? We have a, Lindsay just came in and said hello in the room. Hi, and Lindsay. Alan and Gail I, and Lady Fair and, oh. and Stephanie and Lady P and, and, Li and Linda and Moxie. And, of course, the, the, the Burgians are here. And uh, I, I see Shannon. And, like, all of our friends are here. Kim Sim is here. Wow. And, the crew Christy is in is the, the house. Oh, yeah. No, it's like we're, we're going to be Sherpa in no time. We're going to be Sherpa in so, no time. I'll be dancing. If we get to 300, I will I will do a little dance. I was going to dance dancing. anyways, but just... I will still do a little dance at 300. I hope everybody is really good today. They are. There's, everyone's having a great time. You know, They're... I hope everybody's good. Again, today's pace, I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Just for those of you painting along live, so you don't feel like you're under so much pressure. I felt like we needed a decompress art day. Yeah. And that we would take advantage of live YouTube. I mean, they give us this free system so to okay. use as we see fit. To broadcast into to the broadcast. And so we're just going to take advantage of it today mm -hmm. on this sort of little chill out painting thing. Are we going to catch some wishes here? We have wishes in the canvas. we got to go over. And I think we're going to add some wishes. Yeah, I think we're gonna and add remember, here. wishes don't all have to be serious. All wishes are valid. You could mm -hmm. be like, I wish my butt cake does not fail this year. That's a valid wish. It is. If you have been battling your bunt cake. <laughs> all right. We're all on journeys. Deb's daughter is going through a lot, and um, she's a friend of ours on YouTube. She has a YouTube channel, and her daughter's going through a lot. And what I'm just wishing for is that they find a medical treatment that is effective for what she's going through. Yeah. I just really wish that for her. Peggy is going through surgery, and she. we just want to send her healing. 
we need a cure and treatment for Lyme disease. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but a, a lot of our members not only go through, you know, we have groups that go through different things, and Lyme disease is something that a lot of you have in common, and you may not know that. Um, Nicholas is, uh, you know, we're hoping that he heals and gets better. Yeah. I also have a special wish for my friend Andrea. Um, she was one of my good friends growing up, and all the people in Tennessee were affected by the fires. Mm -hmm. A lot of people lost their lives, they lost their homes. It was an incredible tragedy. And I'm just hoping they get the support that their, you know, GoFundMe's fund, mm -hmm. that their, you know, the government comes in and really helps them, and that their insurance companies really come in and help them. And then a little wish for Mona's mom to feel better. Yeah. She's been going through a lot. Do you have some more wishes I, I can I add to my canvas? So we have a big area today. We do. We have a lot of wishes coming in here. Okay, so cool. Let's go wishing. Both wishes are Sonia good. and Carrie have a wish for uh, successful surgeries. Sonia, Sonia is having surgery on Thursday, and Carrie, uh, his fa her father-in-law, is having surgery uh, tomorrow. And another wish for, I guess, another surgery, who's a five-year-old son, is waiting for a transplant heart. Oh, my gosh. So Joanne, Everyone yeah. really put some happy focus on that. Yeah. For the, what, son, oh, my gosh, that he gets his heart. Yeah, we need, that would be. Oh, excellent. that just makes me want to cry right now. Gets it. I want him just to go right to the top, and he gets a great heart, a strong heart, a heart that carries him through for his family. Yeah. And I know we have a lot of people on the transplant list, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. So we just definitely wish that around that everyone who's looking for a transplant organ, they get them. Definitely Mo that big heart one right there. Please keep, keep us up on how that's going. Moxie has put a great, great wish out here for everyone to have safe driving this winter, which is a really good wish. Yeah. Uh, we want lots of safe driving. Uh, a Chrissy here for her granddad, whose hip's been hurting. And and uh, 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 Gail, I think just I need just a little one. Uh, Gail needs one for for her vertigo. No more vertigo. Yeah, I was thinking about that because Gail really goes through vertigo and it really interferes with her ability to just be herself. Yeah, and that's a that's a tough one. Totally get that. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Mo Cuts, I have a wish for every child out there to be safe and happy this Christmas, which is a really good wish. I like that. All the children. All the children's. Be happy. That's what Santa wishes, too. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm with Santa and the elves on that one. Santa would really like if we would do that for our children. I support Santa. I know Santa. there's a wish for a seeing eye dog. Oh, yeah. The eye, I, didn't catch, I didn't see that one, but I'm sure it's out there. To come in. Those are really hard da -da to come by, and it's not regulated, so we're wishing for a good seeing eye dog. Uh... Wish for my finance, uh, for my fiance's coworker. Uh, it could not wake up. Uh, oh, a wish for my fiance's coworker. He could not wake up his daughter and had to rush to the hospital. So Dominique's uh, fiance's coworker. Oh, let's wish that her daughter wakes yeah. up and is okay. So whatever was happening there, we have we have some wish for for that. More wishes for uh, uh, Timothy. Wishes for more driving safety. That's great. And. Uh, Let's well, we're, we're packing this yeah. up for the holidays. We're packing in the healing today, guys. I think we have one more, one more in there. If we can get for uh, Luana, who has uh, pray for good results on a biopsy. And then there's just so many other good wishes in here, guys. Thank you so much for catching all these. I'm so glad we were able to fill up our, our canvas you know, today. You know, we've got the, you know, all of the light keepers out there, all thank of our... You. Thank you. Know, thank you for that. And, and if you guys can capture any more wishes if, that come in. And if you're here for the first time, we do wishes on live shows, yeah. you know, because we like to. Yeah. <laughs> Makes, you got to be optimistic about not only painting this white canvas that you're going to be able to paint it, but also about your future and the world. Mm -hmm. It's important we've to find a, that optimism. We've got a lot of little brushes with here. I see Brianna. <laughs> and, uh, you can do wishes on your stuff, too. And, and baby girl Claire, I think, is her first happy. Wow. It's her first birthday today, so she's happy joining birthday. us. That's the littlest brush I've seen. We have a, a <laughs> one-year-old brush with us. <laughs> I love those crayons that are like a ball that they can hold, and you can find some really great um, ones on Etsy. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking out of a, a cup. For all your moms out there, you're just trying to like what for Christmas. If you've got one of these paint your pottery studios near you in your city, mm -hmm. I don't know if you've thought about this. I'm not sponsored by any paint my pottery studio, but I have to say that my best china in my house was made by my kids. You know, you know, cinnamon. It's it's pretty amazing because we are already at a place where we should be dancing. You know why? Why? Because we have 300 people in the room already. We are Sherpa already, and we just got our wishes in. So I want to say thank you to everybody. It is 
definitely good feeling today to have everybody with me. So oh, I got my jam on. You got your jam on. I got my jam on. Gonna... Better watch out. I got my bubbles. And we got bubbles. I got my jam on. I'm feeling the art. You can, you can do it today. I'm feeling it. <laughs> I'm gonna teach some pain. So what? What, what is it? Gonna teach it. Do you feel it? <laughs> do you feel the art? So what is it? Woo! Uh, so, <laughs> somebody else liked the bubbles too. <laughs> <laughs> so. What uh, what what are we gonna start with here today? Uh oh. Uh oh. The the bubbles have called her. <laughs> Look straight down. <laughs> okay. Oh, the puppy. <laughs> All right, you you two going out? Okay. Okay. You could have to grab her because there's just there's no way to. Now she's the the puppy's biting the bubbles out of the air. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be a fun video later. I can tell you that right now. All right, the goof is, all right. Yeah, we're gonna paint. That happens here too. And I'm gonna show you how. It's gonna happen today. I'm in a mood. Is it, is it gonna I'm happen? I'm in a mood. Okay, let's all right. paint this so in. So let's start, let's start showing me. What are all we right, paint? so I've got this brush. This is not expensive, right? Yeah. And actually even my really good brush is not expensive. It's just more money than this brush. Uh -huh. This is just a joy. It's so, a very pretty brush. It's, it, well, it's just wonderful. It's a br best dressed, wonderful two-inch brush. But this is a really good brush, and it's two inches. It's synthetic nylon. Oh, Here's yeah. what I do. Oh, oh. What? We don't, uh, you can, uh, I, I always forget the brush guys. Oh, yeah. We While we're talking about brushes. Yeah. Let's. You say, go ahead and finish your thing. Okay, so but. I'm dragging off my extra water. Yep. This doesn't tend to over pull it in, but I'm dragging it off. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a little of my black over to my blue. I have phthalo blue here and Mars black. Listen, if you're in an area that doesn't have phthalo blue, you could do this with Prussian blue and ultramarine. Okay? So you would do the Prussian blue here, no black, and do ultramarine green wherever else I'm using phthalo blue. Just so you know. Just so you know. And I'm going to go back and forth and just cover my whole canvas with this. Now you're going to notice that I'm just working the tips of my bristles and I'm not having to press in I'm not having to work particularly hard to get this canvas coated right I'm just brushing it on this nice dark blue super easy I really love this brush but I mean you can use just like that house brush you have in the back cupboard <laughs> <laughs> don't tell anyone I told you but you can. I mean, but I love this. No, the, the this is a this. Oh yeah, that was, was oh the brush guys. Brush guys. That's what I was gonna forget about. So if you're looking for brushes you're, this holiday season, not sponsored. We're just telling you. Yeah. No, we. How do we? The brush guys. We found them through the community. Through you guys. Yeah. You guys found the brush guys, and you helped me make a new friend. That Jay, Def, and Jay are now my friends, and yeah. we visit them in California. But we really like them, but they do something kind of cool. If you use the code, the Art Sherpa or Art Sherpa, mm -hmm. you can get 5% off your brush order. Yeah. And, but the, the really cool thing about them is that they will ship anywhere around the world. So yeah. no matter what you, and they'll let you know when brushes are in. So they've been really good about helping the community find the brushes that they need. Um, you know, really good price on what they have. This is not sponsored. They're, they're not sponsored. Both We've just and been Dave. getting about a thousand brush questions this holiday season. And honestly, they're our best answer. Yes. They're fantastic. There's a link. There's more information about them in the description below. I'm sure everyone has a link to them. Can test testify. Test testify to the awesomeness of the brush guy. Yeah. And any of these brushes that you see me painting with here today, they probably have in stock at a incredible list price. Yes, they do pretty good. Plus the discount. Yeah. Yeah good place to go Christmas shopping for the artist friend in your life <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah so I okay like panicking going what so what are you doing here with this I am just painting this whole canvas in blue okay all I'm doing is taking this little mixture you can see I take my little black I get it on the tip of my brushes mm -hmm. not too much because black is powerful isn't it yeah and I just load it and mix it till I get almost a Prussian blue color could have just used Prussian blue which I have, but I felt like, why well, make y'all get some different paint out, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm just 
brushing it back and forth. And the reason it doesn't seem like the canvas is resisting is because this brush is just actually made to paint the canvas. <laughs> I'm getting lazy. I like to work for it. <laughs> You know, the thing about all artist materials that I really want to say, especially this holiday season, is you're getting excited about upgrading, mm -hmm. is always like, it should be like anything else in your life. You should get the best, the one you like, but the one that you can afford. Don't, don't stress your budget. Don't feel like you've got to paint with what I have to paint. Because hmm. that is not true. Right? I'm going to always tell you what I have so you can get it, so you can find it, so you can have that result. But I've seen some great art in crayons, so don't let that be a limiting factor. Now, would you do I'm going to press out this paint here out of my brush. While you're, while you're doing that, would you do me a quick favor and turn over and say hello to Mrs. Carr's class of kindergartners, the little brushes there? Hi, Mrs. Carr's class of kindergartners. Are you guys having fun and painting today? I hope you are. Art is important. Seriously, it is. It's like the best job in the world. <laughs> I'm not saying the astronaut is not cool. It's very cool. Race car driver, also cool. But artist is one of my favorite jobs. Mm -hmm. And I hope some of you will grow up and be artists. <laughs> that at all trying to direct the future <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh we were button pushing somewhere youtube oh yeah that's what it's, it's, it's all about that's my next up hat that i got tubery. next up for winning next up i went to next up and all i got was that hat that's not actually true i got a lot of stuff <laughs> you got a jacket i got a jacket i got socks i got a whole bunch of things a couple new cameras <laughs> so it, yeah, I'm was, just I'm just goofing with my YouTube friends right now. It was a lot of good training. My friend Sarah Hall of Mommy um, Hacks went. She just won it. She did. That's right. Mm -hmm. She just won it, and she just came back. She's in Houston, too. Look what I found. What do you find? <gasps> the picture in picture. So if somebody knows what we're going. That's, Listen. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to draw this sucker in you, for sure. Really? Are you, really, you going to show I us? I really, really, really am. Uh -huh. But, and this is really important. Drawing is just a skill. Every time I make this comment, somebody comes by and loses their mind about it, and I'll be ready for you. Mm -hmm. Drawing is just a skill. It's a skill that if you can learn it, I totally recommend it. I think it's a lot of fun. There's great channels about it here on YouTube. But it is not the only skill in art, and it is not a reason to paint or not to paint. Right? Like, I don't have to every paint? single art skill. I'm not that good at stained glass. Or glass. not to paint. To paint or not to paint that is, is totally the question. Which I just, just paint. I'm just letting y'all paint this uh, back in. If we were in a sip and paint right now, we'd be doing this anyways while y'all caught up. We'd be talking while everyone's yeah. just walking around. Is everybody okay here? Is it, <laughs> does anybody need any help? Or has everyone painted everything in already? Are we all done? <laughs> and, good? And, and for those of you who are doing cardio along with us, time to pick up the pace. <laughs> I'm grabbed a number six bright. So you can see how this is sort of a square brush. Brights are slightly shorter than flats. And that's all we're really talking about here. And here in the upper right of my canvas, I'm going to make a circle. A, a round thing? I'm going to make a round thingy. What is that going to be represented? Well, about? I mean, if I'm lucky today, it will be round. But, you know, every day is a new day. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> The blue underneath is still a little bit wet, and so the blue is going to pick up into my white paint, but that's okay because I actually want that. Mm. I'm taking advantage of the fact that this is happening, so I'm not happy to just come back in and paint a slightly blue moon. Right? Like, why wait? Why wait? Why wait? Just enjoy making the circle. By the way, circles are not easy for everybody, so if you're like, I can't seem to get a circle, I get an egg, I get an oval... You wait for your stuff to dry and go ahead and trace around a cup to get your circle. No. And don't feel like, oh my gosh, I can't even art. I can't circle those. Again, not connected. Where is the difficulty level of this painting? You know, if you're tracing it, it's a one hoot. Yeah. If you're tracing it, it's a one hoot. If you're drawing it in with me, it might be like closer to a two hoot. But if you, if you use the traceable, th yeah. this is anybody can do this one hoot painting. Yeah, this is almost a little bit coloring, except for the part where we use this round and make the swirlies. And and, and even those are very artsy-fartsy. So it's okay. If, if, this is, if you were thinking about doing this for your first painting, this would be one you could totally You could tackle. totally do this for your first painting or with your friends. If you were having a party with friends yep. and some of them hadn't painted before, you might just want to help them trace in the image. Okay. You know, but they should be able to do all the skills here pretty easy. There's nothing that's really challenging in and of itself. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm going to do an interesting thing here. I'm going to take a little bit of the blue. I have this round. Yeah. Right? This is a number four round black pearl. Okay? Okay. I love this little brush. I'm going to get it a little bit wet, but drag off the extra water. 
I'm going to come and load. I love loading these types of brushes, these rounds, because I like to sort of press it into the paint and smudge it around a little bit. See what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. I like loading it like that, but it's still only about halfway up the brush. And then I'm going to come and I'm going to pull a little bit of this white paint in. And I'm also going to totally get some of my glazing liquid. You don't have to have the glazing liquid. I just like it because it makes stuff fun and easy. And I'm going to come off the edge here. And I'm going to make a backwards S. Wait, no, that's not even a backwards S. That's a, there's dyslexia for you. I'm going to make a forwards S. I'm going to come up, Whoop. swirl, swirl, and then I'm going to spiral Ooh. in. See how we did? I, I kind of did. I was moving around there That's a okay. Bit. I'm going to start at the top of the spiral oh. this time. Okay. On. You ready? All right. Uh, I got my blue paint and a little more glazing liquid. I might even grab a little more blue paint onto this. Okay. I think I'm ready. And I'm going to just come here, and as I'm pressing down, I'm widening the brush stroke. I'm just coming down and making these little swirls. Get some more blue if you need it. I do. Get my little glazing liquid. You can use water to thin here. You really can. I'm just using my glazing liquid because I likes it. But then I'll have to dry my painting later. So it's sort of six and one half a dozen of another. It's your studio. It's your practice. Don't let your, don't get crazy with it. Now you're kind of. I see you're letting big clumps of paint there just kind of hang out. Yeah, I do. They're what? I could smidge it out if it was bugging me. Cool. Oh, no. I think it's actually a dry little clump of paint. Oh, huh. <laughs> it's cured, and it wants to stay. And I'm gonna chase it around. Ah, I got it. nope. There it goes. Brush it off there. That's crazy. It's gone. Oh, nope. <laughs> 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 All right, you're gone. <laughs> Not that, a terrible thing. Yeah. Doesn't ruin anything. I, but you're still leaving like uh, it's still cool. How it's kind of impostoy. It's very impostoy. I'm not trying to. You know, I'm gonna get a little more white. I want my swirl here to be wider at the bottom and narrower as it swirls out. If you need to get some just white to really help define this swirl on the tip of your brush, you can kind of come here on the inside. See, I'm just using the tip and going around. I think the thing that would trip somebody new up is getting overly concerned with it. I think that's what's really hard for new artists. Yep. Is, I'm going to rinse out my brush a little bit because I want my next blue to be a little darker. I think they feel overly concerned. Uh -huh. And so they worry in an area of their canvas for a long, long time. And it loses a lot of its character. Yeah. Because they haven't learned to lean into their character yet. To their See, kids know this intrinsically. All the little brushes painting today know that their little style is the style. Gotcha. So they lean into that. But sometimes grown-ups get a little wound up. So it's, it's okay if someone is... They, they should just sort of feel their swirls. Feel your swirls. I think that's a good way of looking at it. I'm going to pick up a little more white and glazing liquid. And again, you could pick up water. I'm just we adding this swirl here. We should not be bound by the practices of the brush. Yeah, maybe your swirl will take you somewhere else. Somewhere and different than where I went. And is, it, is it okay to just ride the wave? It is okay to wa ride the wave of your brush. If you've done centangling... If you've done coloring, there's a real benefit to just letting go and enjoying your creative journey. Now, this particular swirl is going to come off around the moon. It's going to travel down, come back up, and swirl here. Oh, okay. So it's going to have a little, it's going to be it's a little be wandery, a dude. But we don't mind. Uh, no, that's kind of cool. I'm going to put a little more white on my brush so you can really see it. Okay. This first journey where I'm laying it out. Whoa. There we go. It's all swirly. Yeah, it should be very Susian. Susian, that's a good way of putting it. Susian. Well, it is actually a style and aesthetic of art, and it's something you would say if you were in art school. You might say this is a very Susian feel because he has a unique perspective to the world that had not been seen before him, mm. and he created a whole design aesthetic that still influences everything we do today. Everything you sort of enjoy about Tim Burton has a Susian root. Oh, that's... Yeah. That's kind of true. And I imagine Tim Burton would be very complimented by that and probably admires artists like Dr. Seuss or Brian Froud quite deeply. It's okay to, I guess I want to put a stand on the shoulders of giants. Hmm. Right? That's how art grows. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd still be just dusting our hands in a cave. Be evolving. 
painting the same things we were painting, you know, thousands of years ago. So, you don't want to copy. I mean, you do want to copy right now if you're a student. <laughs> 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 but it's okay. You know, fan art's okay. All that stuff is okay. We get so wound up, don't we? We do. We get so wound up. So it's easy to get wound up. <laughs> I won't get wound and riled and wound and riled. Riling me. So, Miss Carr's kids. Sorry, I can't stop <laughs> No, Miss Carr's kids are doing this with crayons, and they're loving it. Wonderful. Crayons are a really good art material. Mm hmm Crayons actually are a cousin of encaustic artwork because they use wax and pigment. So if you were doing this in crown crayons, you could use different color blues to make all the different swirls? I would use different color blues. If I were doing this in crayons, mm -hmm. I would definitely use different color blues and maybe some white. And if I had it in my box, maybe a sparkle. Ooh, a sparkle crayon would mm -hmm. be awesome. Yeah, there's a very famous artist whose name I'm really bummed I can't remember right now, uh -huh. who hangs in galleries and museums, and she does all of her work on construction paper, colored construction paper, and crayons. Cool. And she does realism. Now, crayons are a really great art material. They really are. They have a high pigment load. They're well designed. It's a good company. Mm. Well, I guess I'm, I'm mixing up the art material crayons with the <laughs> brand company Crayola, which is a thing that we all do. It's true. I'm just adding a little more white here. Because I'm making my my swirl happy for me. So you so you're just kind of you're just kind of feeling out your swirl there. I am feeling out my swirl here a little bit. I really enjoy it. I think it's fun to do, and I want it to have a lot of character. Mm. Now my moon is starting to dry. It's if you see this, I'm going to show this right now. So okay. this is a tack dry. So when I touch it, it pulls up some paint. Okay. Right. So it's not quite cured, but it's still dry enough to paint on. Okay. If you had a very inexpensive paint, you may need to let it fully cure. I have my number six back. Um, the reason you need to let it fully cure is that it might lift back up on you. Ah, gotcha. That's it. That's all. It's not, it's not like, oh, i got to go out and buy more expensive paint. Oh. Just know <laughs> that it might not fully cure, and you need to give it another 30 minutes if you're painting, like, you know, they, an economy paint. They think that there's an owl on your palette. See the, do you see him? Do you see the blue owl? Mm. There's an owl on your palette. <laughs> so there you go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh-oh, it's that kind of a day. <laughs> there it is, the owl. <laughs> it's that kind of a day. Now, this Thursday on the Big Art Quest, for those of you that are on the Big Art Quest, yep. We're having a special presentation. Instead of a live Big Art Quest, we're going to actually drop the blue door in all two and a half hours <laughs> of it. So you guys will be very busy. <laughs> <laughs> and then Saturday, we're going to have um, a very special painting called The Awakening. But we're going to meet back up on Sunday live for a Sunday fun day show. Mm -hmm. Where we're going to decorate our self-snowing tree here with some more stuff and open mail. And yeah. Just talk about what's been going on in our world. Now, whenever I'm painting the moon, if you, if for, especially if your kids are doing crayons at home, you're going to want to darken the right side of your moon mm -hmm. right here, yep. and then we're going to make this side a little bit lighter, and that's going to make it seem more like a ball. Mm -hmm. And we're going to kind of break up to the degree that you can do it, break up the pattern. So I'm going to load some white just right on the edge of my brush here, mm -hmm. and I'm going to make these sort of like. Freeform, loose projects. I feel like now I want to teach something in crayon. We should do that later. That'd we be should fun. not remember. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, like, actually, I really think so. It was like I, I think that would be really fun to show how to like warn the crayons and really make some killer art with crayon. Yeah, did you? See? It's the crayon art challenge. Yeah, I remember I did. I that. just made up right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see how this side is the lightest side, and then this side is kind of like a slightly darker shade than the front and then this is our darkest side and then by making these little patchy bits it makes it sort of feel like the surface of the moon yeah i'm gonna get out my fluid paint again this is a soft body paint which means it doesn't hold the body of the stroke it mm -hmm. self levels now this i love this stuff it's like my favorite but craft paint also does the same thing so yeah don't feel like you're like, you got to go hurt your budget or your pocketbook to do the project. And you could thin your white paint with water till it was the same consistency. Mm. 
So I'm making my job easier, but that doesn't mean it's the only way to get it through. I think I'm going to dry this right here so I can dot and rest my hand because you know how lazy I am I, with that. Okay. And otherwise I'll leave little smudges all around the canvas. <laughs> <laughs> So I'll say Loktar Ogar for all of you who are out there playing WoW with us. Um, we've had a really great time jumping out on uh, and doing that in the evenings. Um, Cinnamon, Flame, and I, and a bunch of the Sherpettes, uh, where I have been out playing. And Cinnamon created her panda, who is going to be bounding out and playing some more soon. So uh, we've got her up at level 8, I think. And we've got a little bit of uh, footage we'll be releasing probably up in the Sunday show here pretty quick. So that's been a lot of fun. Um, she's been looking around at what we're going to be painting, probably something in Pandera. So if you want to join us, you can. Uh, we're on the server Etrig. We play on the Horde and the Guild of Sherpets. You can join us out there anytime. Um, so that's a lot. A lot. Of, uh, that's been a lot of fun. Uh, we oh, the big art quest is on Thursdays. You guys can check that out. I think yeah, today's Tuesday. It's one of those tea days, so I'm still kind of catching up. Uh, but look, I pushed the buttons today and got us all here. So. I'm more or less calling it a win today. <laughs> um, <coughs> the uh, Let's see here. What else do we have going on? Um, Big Art Quest stuff is going on. We're going to be rebooting Big Art Quest next year. The website has all that wonderful stuff going on. The chat's working. Um, we've got, uh, you can go out there, create a profile, share up all your artwork, meet up all the Sherpettes. We hang out there generally afterwards. What I'll do is, let me see here. I'm going to push let me see if I can push this button. Look, boonk, and then I'll push this button. Wah, look, go to artsherpa.com. See, I can do that. And um, hang out with everybody. And it is, uh, it's it's now mobile ready. And um, it, so it's, all that kind of stuff's cool. Oh, yeah, and you should go out and check out uh, shop.theartsherpa.com, which I don't have a lower graphic for yet, which is where all of our cool swag is at, which is like you can get our uh, mugs and T-shirts and stuff like that. Um, and that'll be coming uh, here pretty soon. Oh, look, she's all done. And you're right. Uh, done button pushing. This is the fun part for me. I've got my little dot tool here. Remember, you can use the back of your brush. I'm going to make so many dots, I'm actually going to help myself out here and hopefully not mess with John too much. I'm okay. And move my palette to a more comfortable position for me. Um, anytime that you can readjust things to make yourself more comfortable in your yep. painting process, I highly recommend it. Yes. Now I'm going to load up. I just dipped the tip of this tool here and I'm going to come and depending on the pressure if I press light it makes a small dot if I press hard it makes a bigger dot if I were using crayons I'd probably go circle 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 <laughs> <laughs> if I were if I were using crayons yeah which I would because I think they're a really cool art medium and I'm going to just go through and I'm going to come along and I'm going to use these dots and there's a little bit of I think a flare of Van Gogh in this like a little tip to him, yeah, to sort of express this movement in the sky, because we didn't really think about expressing movement in the sky until Van Gogh did it, right? Yeah, that was a new thought that some artist had. You know, there's still new thoughts to have as artists. That's what artists have is new thoughts. You don't have to be famous to have a new thought. Grandma Moses wasn't famous when she had her new thought. You could just have a new thought. Just a new thought. That sparks everyone else to have a new thought. It's a really nice thing that you can do. I'm going <laughs> to come up here. <laughs> I'm like trying to follow your little your hand. I'm movement. going to travel uh, around, but sure. I'll have to sometimes move to the top of the swirl to express its its trajectory. You know, Sherpa tracking was a merit badge I didn't get until I was an adult. We didn't know it was going to be a thing. I did not know. I think what would be really funny is like if I ever had to climb a steep hill. <laughs> <laughs> then it would be really easy to track me because it would be slow moving <laughs> an you know, actual hill. I'm really quick at metaphorical art hills. Although it's funny if you, if, if like from my, my, my friends who I brought back here from who like work with me back in the arcade days, yeah, they look at all my equipment and a lot of like, Oh man, it's almost painful to look like, you know, I, cause I've almost built an arcade console back here. You know, <laughs> it is. It's pretty funny. You are. We're using our life skills. We're using our life skills. <laughs> it's amazing how the things that you did before tie into the things that you are doing today. Although I'm gonna put a little quarter slot in in the desk now, so it'll be coin coin operated now. And I just want to demo, just because you know I said it, but I just want to show it, mm -hmm. right? How it's totally okay. Well, I apparently have crushed the back of that brush. I don't know how What'd I even do? did that. I'm so weird. 
All right, here's one. It's intact. What? See, I'm going to take the back of the brush here. Oh, okay, yeah. Right? If this is what I had, I would just go like this. Oh, cool. It See? does the same it's thing. it's not that. That's why I'm like, you don't got to go buy a tool I just did. <laughs> <laughs> you just want one that leaves a dot. <laughs> so this is... Super easy stuff, guys. This is one of those things where it's like, I have the tool. It's not... Yes. It's just... Uh, well, no, I'm a big baby. Well, I, well, I mean, like it gives you a consistent effect. It's a it, little stainless steel ball. It gives me an exact effect. So if yeah. I ever wanted to do that mandala, I bought them because I thought I would do a mandala rock. Ah. But then I I started to do it, and I was like, oh, I really don't want to do a mandala rock. That's a there's a lot of a lot of dots on a mandala rock. There really is, and so but I got it in case. Yeah. Sometimes we, um, John and I have an idea. You guys say, hey, could you guys paint with fire? Right. And then, um, yes, we shall paint with fire. And we then actually tried it, burnt some lenses, and realized that's a wholly bad idea. We also had two fleeing sessions from the backyard because John thought it'd be fun to add color. Oh, yeah, to the fire, which worked. It did work, it was extremely exciting, and I think the kids lost some confidence in <laughs> us. <laughs> well, what I will say is that I learned a lot about adding metals to, uh, compounds. So think about those Facebook shares because I am looking at them. <laughs> <laughs> Although it was all uh, so you know my uh, my next door neighbor is former fire chief. Yeah we had help. We had help. We we actually had experienced help. There was a lot of chuckling and going so how'd that go for you? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Fast is the answer. Thanks for the suggestion we appreciate it. <laughs> We we actually run down more of what you guys suggest than you might not know. Sometimes yeah. we try things on and we're like, oh, that didn't work. So, you know, gunpowder burns really slowly yeah. by comparison to anything To other else. types of to powder that we might have else. <laughs> Don't try that at home. Don't, no. It's fast. <sighs> yeah. A lot, of, a lot of work and layout. A, hey, little brush Flynn. Hi, little brush Flynn. How are Hi, you today? Dude. Oh, oh, sorry. So there's some art questions that are coming in. And oh, I'm, I'm just so happy to answer any art I questions. Am. We're having that kind of pacing day, and I'm dotting for at least another bit here. Yeah, yeah. And, and I'm sorry that if I've missed some art questions here because I've just been kind of having, having a day enjoying just chatting with my wife, frankly. <laughs> so sorry. We, we, we have an art show. We do this all day, of. whether you're here or not. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you just join us for our regularly scheduled chat. And, um, okay, so I actually I'm gonna go up and scroll and answer. Answer some art questions. I'm gonna try because that's some. what we came on YouTube to do. Right, was show people how to paint. Mostly that was the, the idea. There's been mild mild heckling of me and my button pushing today. Oh, are you having <laughs> some trouble? Oh, no, they're just giving me a hard time because oh. I'm just you know. I think what's hard too is I have to go reload for the dot thing, and so it's hard for you to read the chat. Yeah. Since I'm constantly like. I think you could read the chat, but we'd have to just say she is dipping for that next section. I don't know. Can we all agree mm -hmm. that I'm just getting more paint <laughs> <laughs> so you can read? No, you're not going to give it up. I see you still trying. <laughs> I also think I'm talking a lot more today than I do on normal days. Okay. So what are the questions? Because oh, we've okay. talked about answering questions, but then didn't answer any. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Are, are, we, are, we, uh, are you using glitter glue for the white dots? No, I am using golden fluid acrylic paint, titanium white. You could use craft paint. You could use glitter white paint. Mm -hmm. You could use, uh, oh, you know, uh, one of those detail. I mean, there's like a lot of products. Okay. So have fun. It's your dots. Now they're telling me I don't have to switch to the palette every time because you're just going to be using white here. Yes, literally through the swirl, yeah. and so then we'll answer some questions, and then I'll sketch in, and then I'm sk I gotta dry it and sketch in the Grinch. So, and I'm gonna actually talk to everyone really detailed about how I did that. <laughs> but there's a traceable. Oh, so Mrs. Carr's class is using glitter glue. I think glitter glue is a brilliant idea. I really want to see all those pictures. That if it's allowed. Yeah. I would think that would be really cool. Obviously. Only if it's allowed. Gotta, gotta be sweet and kind to kids. So important. They're our future. <laughs> so now you could, use, you could use glow paint? You could so use glow this would with be dark so paint. so good with glow paint. And then these little light. swirls would glow for no reason. And your friends would be like, why? Yeah. Why is that happening? <laughs> You're so weird since you started painting. 
So they're giving me a hard time because I'm. I, you know, I wasn't. You I'm, still haven't asked me a question. Oh, uh, well, no. They're, <laughs> I, they're, so actually, right now, most everybody out now, out now, is like, give me a hard time because I was. I talked a whole lot during this show, and so somebody was like, "It's the John show," and I was like, "Well, I'm not trying to be the John show. I'm just sort of being talky." So I got a little self conscious. Yeah, it's like, always no, so no, fun no. when somebody you comes in talk. that doesn't watch us regularly live, who hasn't seen the format before, and their process of interpreting you or I and how we relate to each other. Yeah. Boy, you can tell what's going on in other people's relationships by what they choose to write about ours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got some questions now. Okay. okay. So, uh, oh, we go back over here. So, uh, the crap, let's see here. Where did it go? Uh, could you do a reindeer painting? Uh, at one, ooh, a reindeer painting. That's not bad. What? Could I what? Could you do a reindeer painting? Well, yes, but I think we're running out of holiday think- time on the schedule, but... I am taking suggestions, and so here's how I do. If you're wondering where I come up with my ideas, I do right. I and, and actually, um, this is sort of a tip of the hat to Lindsay. Is back when I was collaborating, my first collaboration with Lindsay, she talked about her notebook, and I'd had notepads and files and stuff, but then I actually started keeping like this notebook, and so it's like since last year, mm-hmm. I write ideas down, and I'm always anything that I think I might want to paint. And then I'm just constantly going back and looking at it. When you guys give me an idea and I see it in the comments, I'm like, oh, that's really good. And I write that down. And then when I come up on a season, what we're trying to do is to schedule what we think we're going to paint that month based on those ideas. Ah. So I'm going to tell you. Th- so Ranger, right in there. Full group of people there. Like there's a whole bunch of other good suggestions. Like a Charlie Brown Christmas, which would be so funny. Honor just popped in and said hello. Hi, Honor. Hi. Um, and uh, uh, Tropical Chic said that she really loves the channel. She just really appreciates this. She's wanted to say thank you. She likes having the reference photo up there. Thank so, you. you know. And I hope you guys are okay with the sort of chilled out pace today. But we're like, usually we go through like on a, like the Furious Five. We're mm-hmm. like, we're like an off franchise of the movie series. Mm-hmm. Speed paint without engine. I don't know. I don't. Okay, I'm fine. I don't know where I thought I was going with that, but I lost it. You too. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So, so, so I should go apple, pineapple, apple pen. Viral! <laughs> You know, okay, so what I will say is just right, right at this moment, we are at 299 people. We, well, Y'all actually, are no, so sweet no, no, to just sorry. be paying There's with 312 us. people in the room, and there's 299 likes. 300 likes, 313, 330. 330. So just, I'm going to go I'm just going to just dance. You're just going to dance, and I'm going to find. Where's my brushes? Because yeah. I'm getting my jam today. I'm going to show you some art. I'm going to show you the art I'm going to paint. Get your dance on there. Paint uh, it. <laughs> So all you guys who are <laughs> who are hanging out with us at home, and do you, the brush dance. And if you can't get up and dance, it's as cool as Scotland. Don't forget to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes because dancing is how we remember we're alive, right? And we like to, whenever we get 300 people in the room or 300 likes, and in this case we get both, right? Then, well, we like to get up and dance because that's part of celebrating life and celebrating what we do together here. And we just appreciate you guys being here with us, and we love you. Do I get a kiss? Yay. Where are you going? Oh, can I give you my coffee in the microwave? Yes. Thank you so much. It was a trap. <laughs> I mean, girls got to get her coffee, Admiral right? Admiral Akbar saw that one coming. <laughs> oh, Rogue One. Yes. Anybody else excited about Rogue One? I want to do something about that. I'm just trying to keep up with everything. And it's like so excited. About Rogue One. Is it going to be Jetta? I don't know. I really hope it is. I'm ready for some origin, right? Some more info. I don't know why I would need it because there's the books and, you know, the world's pretty built out and there's tons of info, but you, sometimes you don't feel like it's real until it's from Lucas, right? You know what I'm saying? Is that one warm enough? Yeah. Well, let me see. Mm mm. I swear I'm not being the princess in the pea. It's just cold. <laughs> What's tepid? <laughs> Bubbles. I just want some hot coffee. About which awesome? The blue door on Thursday. The best painting in the universe coming up the following Tuesday. The Sunday Fun Day show that is live. Or Awakening that you guys named. It's the One Point Perspective Trees that's going to be up on Saturday. It's going to be video on demand. But you guys named it.
Oh yeah, you can paint that Saturday if you want. It's gonna be super easy. Totally worked it out. It's gonna be on an 11 by 14. Simple palette. Thank you, training. Thursday's the blue door. All right, let me get these brushes out of water. Yeah. I am trying to take better care of my brushes. I will put these aside. Everything here is gonna have to have a wash later. I'm gonna dry this to make sure I don't drag paint all over everything. She could have been drying this thing when when I was doing the, you know, and I don't, now she's drinking coffee. And, and I'm a, so I'm gonna go over here and find some buttons to push. So, hey guys, how are y'all doing? Ah, it's so, I mean like, what's been really cool is that we've had this gigantic group of people out here who've been loving and supporting in chat. I love hanging out with you guys. Thank you all for coming in and being with us on the show, um, for being part of our community. Uh, you know, I, I, I appreciate it so much. And, um, you know, I look forward to seeing you here every time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and do all that kind of stuff that, you know, YouTube likes, you know, so that you can get notifications and be here when we do our live. And that's, that's really the big reason that you should push any of those buttons is that in order to find us, you have to... You know, hit the subscribe button and then the little bell button. You gotta, you, you gotta mash the bell. Is that what all the YouTubers are saying now? Mash the bell. Mash the bell. I, just, it, you know, it's that's how you find us when we're live. That's, that's how you find us when we're live. Our live schedule is changing up temporarily a little bit. Mm -hmm. Be returning back to its usual groove in next year, but mash that bell. I don't <laughs> know what's happening. <laughs> mash it. I don't know if it works. I've mashed my friend's bells and it doesn't always work. So <laughs> mash it. <laughs> But we're into the and bell also mashing. check that you're still subscribed to your favorite people. And if you haven't been, there's a form you can fill out for YouTube to let them know uh, you're broken. I'm broken. But I actually think they're working pretty hard on fixing it. They do. They do. I, I, I am, what I am is really hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my word for the end of the year. I'm so hopeful. Okay. So when I drew in the Grinch, and I'm not, you guys, the reference photo that I have here and what I end up drawing might be slightly imperceptibly or perceptibly different <laughs> <laughs> because I'm free handing it in and I'm not a copy machine, but I'm going to show you my process. Okay. This is the Grinch inspired by Chuck Jones, who's one of my favorite artists on planet earth. And I think one of the great creators of our generation. Yeah. And he had some really unique ways of doing things. So that's where I had to go. So it's sort of the Susie and Chuck Jones mashup. Now, what do you use in there? I have this general's, charcoal in white you okay. at Michael's and Hobby Lobby and craft stores and Amazon and everywhere and they sketch pretty decently over an acrylic painting board okay. so the first thing that I'm going to do if <laughs> Texas snowflakes <laughs> is I really want his face to be about here to here right yeah. the whole breadth of his face so I'm going to make a vertical line now if you kids are doing this in crayon do this real light because this is how I'm sketching it in. If you're not going to trace it in, you're going to freehand it because this is how you anchor face. But on my piece, it's all going to disappear under the paint. On your piece, it might not. So if you're using cream. Hmm. For those of you that came up later, does she just need a treaty or something? <laughs> I think that she just wants to be back here real bad with us. <laughs> okay, man, because she's letting us know. All right, you, you go give her a cuddle. Because clearly it's it's an emergency. So I've got this little vertical line. And I want to anchor where I'm going to put the eyes. And his eyes are quite high in his face. Because really his forehead is here. And all the rest down here is smile. And that really is the character of the Grinch. Right? Is that mm -hmm. massive smile frown. How he emotes yeah. in his Grinch-tacular little face. So when I make this cross. And this actually works a lot on a lot of face drawing. It helps me determine how I'm placing the face. Now, this whole wonderful long line, I'm going to make be a lip. Okay? So I'm going to make a little U here. I'm going to bring it out and bring it out. And it comes out. And then it does this weird sort of curve and a hook. I'm going to make sure I also line this in in black paint. And then here it's a little more wiggly because it, it's like his lip is trembling. And Chuck used to be able to do this thing where he would really, really be able to make characters just take you to where they were. The nose is a little tiny bump above the little cross line. And then the classic one, two, three bumps. See that? 
So that's all it is on the nose. The eyes are leaf shapes that are at an angle. And if you have trouble at it, one thing that you can do is you can draw two angles up to help you keep the angle, mm -hmm. right? Instead of trying to just freehand it and know you've got the angle, give yourself an anchor in drawing. Give yourself stuff to cling to and keep track of if it's not just something that you're like, oh, I got. And the eyes are quite big. They're several inches long. So my leaf goes like that. And they're sort of slitty. They're not big. They're not like saucers. Right? Not like saucers. Because he's being wicked right here. He's having this delicious, wicked thought. Which, how wonderful is that sometimes to be a little bit wicked? A little bit like, I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them so good. And then they're going to then they're gonna know. They're going to know how I feel. That's a good feeling sometimes. I'm going to make a little line down here. And then right below that line is the chin. The chin sort of follows this mouth line a bit, comes up, and then it does an interesting thing. At the corner space of the eye, and you can kind of anchor it there, it comes around. I don't know if oh, I scrape my dot off. That's okay. So how, see how we have that little corner line? Mm -hmm. And that's how that goes. And that shows all the little cheek muscles up there bunched up in that devious grin. I'm going to bring this up, up, up. And then bring, I know the grin happens somewhat off my canvas. Like this. Mm -hmm. So that is right there. Isn't that fun? Mm -hmm. Now, the top of his head is like a round mountain. But it, it comes, starts at where these cheeks are curved in, goes up around the eyes. This little dome. Mm-hmm. And it's a little bit high. He's a bit of a baldy here. And that's cool. Because he's got these cool little ears at the top. Drawing off a lot of my dots are coming off from my pressure. But I'm trying to help you see what I'm putting in. Now once I have that, I get to do his ears. And his ears are a delight to me. They go straight up. Make one line straight up in the middle. And then I'm going to come around. And so they're going to curve a little bit and go down. And that's going to be hard for you to maybe see. Maybe if I switch to this other more pastel -y charcoal, you might be able to see it. What I don't are you know. Using there? I can see the white pretty well, pretty reasonably. Up here it gets a little crazy. Yeah. What kind of, what, what is that now you're I using? I just switched to another color. This is the pastel version in gray. Gotcha. I'm just trying to have, and I'm going to paint that in, right, mm -hmm. up there. So you're really going to see the curve on those little, because he's all pulled it up. He's like, he's going to get them, and he's pulled it up into his little forehead, and he's going to feel it. Now, <laughs> his little chest comes off here, and it's real easy. See where the chin kind of buckles out? Yeah. Goes here, and then we're going to have this almost Kermit little fur area that he's got that's going to be darker. So fur. let's black line this in, and if we black line it in, we're really going to be able to see it. Um, I might have to go back and fix my black line later, right? And I'm going to do it real light. I just want you to be able to see it. So I'm going to black line these ears up here in. This is a little swirl that I've got here. Can you can you guys see those little ears then? Maybe I need to white line them. That's hard to say. I just put out some fluid black paint. And what I'm trying to do is to create this little curl here. Just so I know where it was. No. See those? How they pulled up? That's super important. This is this really shows this this is a very famous scene from the movie. Mm-hmm really shows that moment when the devious idea gets in his head. So, so Timothy was asking, are those ears or his hair? Because they thought that that may have been his hair. It might be his hair. I think it's his hair. Maybe it's his hair? I think I'm treating them like ears, but I think it probably intrinsically was a little tuft of hair at the top of his head. Yeah. <laughs> that was somehow reactive to his emotional state. It's, <laughs> it's nano hair. I don't know. Grinch has superpowers. <laughs> I'm going to kind of draw on this nose so I don't lose track of it. I'm not going to worry about outlining the outside of the head. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't really black line that in the original. But, you know, I could keep the nose so that when I'm painting stuff in, I don't lose that. I'm also going to, at least right now, 
make sure that I black lined my eyes in so I don't lose them. And remember, I've got to do a finishing black line at the end. So if some of this gets painted out or changed, you're okay. Now, it Because you have a whole black lining pass at the end of this. But can you guys see his eyes now? Yeah. And the, the other one that I'm going to have to do is I definitely don't want to lose my mouth in the paint. He was getting some black hair. I will be painting it back in, but I don't want to lose it while I'm painting him in all green. Now, Michelle was asking. And I want you all to see it. Michelle was asking, is, is can are canvas panels okay to start with? Yeah, they're perfectly fine. Canvas panels are okay to finish with. They're a very famous artist who get huge amounts of money that paint on canvas board. Now it's what it's it's really a preference in art. Like what do you like? It's about what you like. Now I'm gonna ask for uh, one of our viewers' forgiveness here. Okay. Baba Hi, uh, hi, Baba. <laughs> there's a, it's a lot longer of a name there, but I'm just that's as, that's as far as I can get. Um, uh, she, she, she'd like to say your paintings are really fun, and would love to see more of them based on cartoons. And would you do more of those regularly? We do, and we're going to continue. I don't think we have any cartoon ones planned in January, but we still have Ren and Stimpy before the end of the year. Have Ren and Stimpy coming, and there there may be some stuff. We'll just see how January goes. I think goes. Ren and Stimpy is how we're taking out John's uh, birthday on the 31st, th is uh, the plan. Oh, wait, no, no, that's going to be the girl in the dress. That's right, it's the girl in the dress. Ren and Stimpy is Christmas Eve. That's right, Christmas Eve, Ren and Stimpy. Stimpy! Yeah. But we're going to, we're going to, because we have some very little brushes with us, we're going to refrain from some of our more Ren and Stimpy conversations, and we're going to save it for Christmas Eve. When we're going to have a whole lot of other... I think that's a really smart and reasonable thing to do. <laughs> where, where hopefully all the little brushes will have gone to bed. And we can be more <laughs> mid-sized brush. So I'm going to take a little of my yellow and green. And I'm going to make kind of this bright green. And I'm going to add a smidge of my black to it. Uh -huh. Just to darken it. Because his rough is a little bit darker than all of his other green. And I'm going to paint in that rough. Right? With this dark green. If you're painting very inexpensive paints, nothing wrong with it. Never feel bad about it. Paint for your budget, man. Just fam. know that you might, huh? Paint to your budget. Paint to your budget. But just know you might have to do a couple coats. And it's not you. It's just the paint. And that is just where that cost was reduced. Mm -hmm. Right? Don't let other artists make you feel bad about your stuff. <laughs> and don't let yourself make you feel bad about your stuff. No point in feeling bad in art. The whole point is to feel better. Just coming here. Just doing this. You know. Just doing this. You know, we're doing this for enjoyment. We're doing this for fun. And it looks like this is just you're just putting in a you know real real basic undercoat here. No, this is just it. Is oh really? Yeah, this but you know, I'm painting golden, so Ah, uh, that's right. There's multiple layers here. So yeah, I'm painting golden so I get away with less. <laughs> now you're allowing a lot of this paint to mix on the brush. I do like to allow my paint to mix on the brush. I really do. It's and something that I enjoy. Um, a lot of artists I know enjoy it, and it's a perfectly acceptable way to you, go. Can you show that there? Go over Yeah, to so see how when I'm pulling out the brush, I, I, I have a bright, it's a stiff bristle, so it allows me to keep the I'm, paint at the tips I'm right, right here. At the yeah, I'm right at the bottom of his smile on RoboCam, so you can... Okay, all right. So see how it's like at the there tips there, and there's some yellow, and there's some green, and they're not perfectly mixed together. And they haven't gone all up into the ferrule, so it's not hurting my brush. Yeah. Right? They're just there. And so when I'm painting them in, there'll be this incredible mixing. And you can kind of see that. See how it's just not one uniform color. Oh, yeah. And it creates a very painterly effect. Um, artists like Bob Ross really depend on the painterly nature of paint to, to for some paint underneath to show through some paint on top. And, and this is one of those techniques that, as a beginner, you can pick up to really make your, your painting yeah. look more advanced, it more complex. It really is. Just helps you more than you know. And nothing like having something help you. So I'm just going to paint all of this head in with that green. I'm going to wait a minute on the ears because I'm going to switch brushes for the ears, though. Okay. So Mox And the nose. Moxie and a lot of people are really excited about Christmas Eve. Are they? They're looking forward to it. I'm excited about it. We're it, that's going to be 
again, we are not going to cook through the Ren and Stimpy. We're going to just take our time, hang out together, kind of recover from whatever our holiday stuff is, and, and paint Ren and Stimpy together and just have fun and, and you know, keep it mellow. Keep it mellow, man. So Lynn's just joining us, and she wanted like to know what she's missed. And so, Lynn, you've missed. We've covered in some, uh, we put it in the background. We did a couple little swirly things. We got the moon in, and we traced in our guy. And we're starting to just paint him in, as you can see here. She's just caught up there, about there. So I don't know. Uh, just a little bit. Not too much. You gotta, I need to see your donuts, though, because, you know. You got to bring the donuts. Got to bring the donuts. Or if, you know, if you're on a low-sugar <laughs> diet or gluten-free diet, you're welcome to bring another mm -hmm. another something for the group. <laughs> we'll do it like we no. understand that we have people who virtually have health concerns <laughs> <laughs> as well as factual ones. You know, we had we, I, I got a row of strawberries, which was pretty awesome the other day. You people need to eat some <coughs> fruit. So Rhonda would like to know, how many paintings are in your house right now? Oh, it is really a problem, Rhonda. Um, so beyond my own art collection, which I'm not even really getting to do right now at all. Like, I, yeah. I, it's been a long time since I've entered anything. Or taken anything anywhere or Couple hung months, anything yeah. anywhere. Um, I'm going to have to start that up again next year. In once spring. I get through the beginning of the year. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, several hundred. Oh, Just my gosh. from last year. Oh, we have. Just well, from last year. If we look at it this way, how many how many videos have we shot? Like, we've got, I think we're over 300 paint videos. And, and you can think most of those videos represent okay. at least three off camera paintings. Uh, two, no, I'd say two to three on average. Yeah. Because you, sometimes you're one and done. And yeah, but sometimes I'm like 10 paintings in a day trying to figure out what we're doing that's next. That's true. So it just, and I had started a daily painting, which I did manage to sell most of the daily painting collection before that, thank goodness. Yeah. That so was a really, really good thing to do. I'm glad I hit those uh, little craft festivals to get rid of all those. Because it would have been really overwhelming to have all this YouTube stuff. Yeah. And the Daily Painters. So the Thalo Green and the Cad Yellow give me a very, very bright, bright green. And he is a very, very bright, bright green. Mm -hmm. And I'm mixing them, if you were thinking of them, in a grayscale to about the mid-range. And I'm very carefully using my bright just to paint around him. Other thing I'm doing that isn't technique based but is art based is I am really really allowing myself to relax and enjoy my process mm. something that sometimes uh, we forget as new artists to do is to just really enjoy the process the reason people like to be an artist for a living is because it feels really good yeah. now they were asking here we haven't announced the time for our Christmas Eve Ren and Stimpy painting yet um, I think we're going to try to keep our times for, you know, what everyone's familiar with, our 11 a.m. Um, there's a calendar on our website. We haven't put that up on the calendar yet. Oh, okay. So but, we, but go by and check out the website, artsherpa.com, because you're going to see way, way in advance. Yeah. You can get the earliest, earliest notifications through that website. Yeah. So we'll put the, we're posting all that, all of our calendar and stuff up there. You can check that out and see what we've got going on. Um, and we'll, we'll announce the time for, uh, the Christmas Eve show pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, and everyone's kind of hoping for an evening. I mean, it's on the whiteboard. We just haven't it. Yeah. It's in the email and on the whiteboard. They would like that one at, at night is what everyone's saying. Mm. At night. I'm a hot mess at night. Have you all noticed? <laughs> we, we may, we maybe we'll coffee you up or something. I don't know. We got to do our own family Christmas Eve, baby. That's true. That's true. All right, so we'll look at this. We're, we're gonna we're gonna have some. But you guys are welcome to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm up to seeing what, where we're at, and we'll. Uh, we'll. We'll talk and see what we. Li what logistical things we can work out, and we'll get it posted up here pretty quick. Yeah. I've. Like I've we'll get it posted on. We'll post up the time. Yeah, we'll, we'll let out. you guys know. But yeah. I'm gonna say right now that Mr. Optimism here is forgetting children. <laughs> <laughs> Of which, you, you, I, you know, I, I love you guys. I really do. But, you know, real fond of the kids, too. Mm -hmm. we got to take care of the kids f for Christmas. For sure. Someone's, so uh, so we have we have a real fireplace and, and a real Santa who, who's going to be coming down the real but fireplace. But I don't know that we will have be able to turn it on because I can't turn on my fireplace because it's really hot, which is why I'm not it's wearing my elf true. hat right now. It is, it is un unreasonably warm. 
It is. So a lot of times in Texas, you just can't use your fireplace. You don't get to see a fire, which is thus why we had a fire painting. Now, what brush are you using there? <laughs> they were asking. I am using a number six black pearl uh, bright. Yeah. That's a, a silver. Yeah, that's by Silver Brush Company. And you can get those at the brush guy? Uh, you get these at the brush guys. To plug and they're my really friends. good brush. <laughs> Go check out the brush guys. They'll have they they'll have, they'll help you and if, for any of the brushes that you see, pretty much those guys can help you locate them. Pretty um, much any so. brushes that you're seeing on YouTube, chances are the brush guys have them or can get them. So yeah. definitely hit them up. Discount code. Oh yeah, don't, don't forget to use your discount code. I'm just saying, gotcha. if you're gonna get a sale, I'm a girl who believes in a sale. You know that about <laughs> me. Yeah, it's 70, 73 degrees Fahrenheit here in Humble, Texas. Yeah, it's just a, it's a little much. So. so then you add my lights to it. Woo! <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I am going to, right, what, take what that wonderful round brush out. Okay. This number four round. Secret, you could use a number six. <laughs> <laughs> it would be just fine. Whatever brush you have good control over. And I'm going to come and I'm going to just really, really, because we've all decided this is his hair. His oh. curled, devious hair. And the discount, the discount code is Art Sherpa. Sorry, I should finish. We should finish it. We forget that. Do we? Yeah. yeah. It's My like, kids say I do that all the time. We don't finish the statement. You guys have a real point. You, so legitimately, we're busy talking to each other and we forget. the canvas. We forget. And yeah, stuff happens. Just rolling his hair out. Rolling his hair out. Okay. So you can see I had dots under there that I painted out. I'm not stressed about that. Might bug you. Doesn't <laughs> bug me. Don't don't be bugged. Don't be bugged. Don't it's be just, bugged. It's just, just art, some man. Dots. Just painting that in. And I'm going to make this a little more yellow. I'm going to get more of my yellow, just a little bit. And I'm going to come in and do his nose. It's slightly, just a slightly, ever so slightly brighter green. Now remember, you're going to come back and black line him. So you don't remotely have to be stressed out about any of this stuff. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get more and more and more of my yellow. And I might even grab a little white on my brush here, just a smidge. I'm going to do an interesting thing. I'm going to make a little lid. You see oh, his little wow. lid? Yeah. So you're using that brush, I would say, very expressively. I am expressive. So you're pushing down and then lightening? I'm pushing down lightning. I'm not, pr look, what I'm not doing, and I don't know how to demo this. Um, I could do it on my hand, maybe. I don't want to mess with my okay. canvas. Yeah. I'm lightly touching. Can you see the bend? Oh, here it is. Yeah, Can you go. see the bend to my brush? Yeah. I don't push this far. Oh, uh, don't, okay. Why would don't, you? Don't, because that breaks the heel of your brush. It ruins your brush really quick. Inexpensive brush, expensive brush, things that ruin your brush is leaving them in water like I do all the time. Don't do that. So if you're having to... Pressing pr down and scrumbling. Even it, though we scrumble, we always try to sacrifice a particular brush to the scrumble. So you always want to use the spring of the brush. That's why stiff filaments are nice, because it doesn't require me to push as hard. To about that far of a bend, so that I always have my little tip. So you need to work from. I don't know because is that showing? You totally. Okay, thank goodness. So you can either add. <laughs> this is not real cadmium painting on my hands, but it wouldn't matter. <laughs> I don't have allergies. So, so to correct this, you would either add more water to your paint or get a stiffer bristled brush for the paint. Add you're more using. water to your paint, improve the fluidity of your paint. Use a soft body paint. If you have very soft brushes for multimedia purposes and they have a very soft filament, there's nothing wrong with the brushes. It's just they don't work great with heavy body paint. Right, so if, even a basics, even a student grade paint, heavy bodied, wouldn't work great with a soft bristle brush. Cool. That's now, all. Nothing so wrong with your brushes. When you're, you're okay. <laughs> More question. Okay. Right, so you can keep it. So when storing paintings, mm -hmm. uh, what do you put between them to keep them from sticking to each other? Okay. So seriously, this is such a thing, and we we gotta make a video about this because there's the correct archival way to store art, and then there's what I actually do. Mm -hmm and what most artists actually do. Mostly, I have them vertical, and I have them, the front of the painting facing the back of the one in front of it, so no acrylic paint is ever touching, because what it is is that the acrylic paint is porous. That's why you actually have to varnish. The acrylic paint is porous, 
and those little molecules are open and when they sit next to each other if there's a temperature change and they open up the painting will literally merge into each other mm. and become one and like that's some 1980s fly horror movie post the transporter and that's one of the reasons one. why you're supposed to varnish your painting the reason you're supposed to varnish the painting is that it's very porous and it actually attracts dust this is a, this is a downside of this medium it attracts dust <laughs> But Not just your kid's sticky fingers, but actual dust. <laughs> so after about three days of a painting like this being dry, you know, it's cured, you go through the varnishing process, and that varnish is stiff and rigid and solid, and it keeps dust out of it, so you could say just wipe it down with a rag or whatever. Gotcha. Not that any archival person would ever say that you should ever wipe any painting down with a rag. If you're having problems with your temperature in your home varying wildly, you can put um, pieces of clean unprinted cardboard or um, parchment and like butcher paper or a lot of things between the paintings as they're vertically done. If they're vertically, then they don't have the gravity because gravity can also get uh, such a thing. I'm telling you what, guys, it's such a thing. <laughs> I'm going to paint in my yellow eyes now. I'm talking about the thing. <laughs> yep. I'm not, you know, I always feel bad about it because I'm like, oh, I don't want to stress everybody oh, out. No, no, you're not. So you're using CAD paint? I was actually no, slightly No, okay, so what this is, and this, I was thinking, man, my yellow is not working as good. So Cadmium yellow medium hue. Is this is a hue. Hue, and hue is just not as amazing as real cadmium. Mm -hmm. But, right, if you have metal allergies, then you're safe for that. And if you had cadmium concerns, you're safe for that. But really, your number one cadmium concern is that this tube is twice as expensive as when it's real cadmium <laughs> when it's real cadmium it's twice as much but it is different and it is very vibrant and that's why artists like myself love using it hmm. i don't have a metal allergy though and it's not all metal allergies it's a specific allergy to cadmium which you might not know even as an adult that you have i did not know right you might not know but this is why my yellow is not as potent, and I kind of wanted to get my actual cadmium for the next layer because it's making me crazy. But I'm going to do it with the hue. Okay. I'm going to deal with the fact that it's hue, and it's not blowing my mind like my cadmium really does. Also, cadmium kind of glows in low light. Oh, yeah. So when you're painting windows or lights on, like, an Eiffel Tower, you're trying to create that luminescent effect in a cabin, real cadmium is like nothing else. It just radiates off the canvas. Huh. It is not radioactive, though. <laughs> All right. An artist paint is not part of the band. It's a different type of cadmium. Nobody needs to be crazy. <laughs> Don't be crazy. Okay. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another little layer around him because mm -hmm. I just don't feel like he's potent enough. What do you mean by that? I mean, he just doesn't feel like completed. He seems unfinished, like a lot of the canvas is showing through and not in a way that feels pretty or beautiful to me. So I'm going to add a little next layer on him. And I would say that is actually because I used hue instead of real cadmium. Gotcha. And so this you may be having to do this at home as well. Yeah, so. you probably are having to do this at home. And you just got to not get wrapped up in that stuff. It just is what it is. Right? The whole point of painting is relaxing. Mm, yeah. So it, as long as you know a thing is a certain way or could be a certain way and you're not letting it stress you, it's not a big deal. I see right. little brush Kiki with us. Hi, Kiki. Always nice to see our little brushes on. So I just want to make Ooh. sure he's like a bright, vibrant green. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little more yellow. It takes very little phthalo green to tint my yellow into a bright green. I mean, I'm not saying he's the basis of Kermit, but boy. <laughs> so Mrs. Carr's class is going to have to go. They're at the end of their hour, but they wanted to all say thank you and that they're going to catch up with us again a little later on this. Oh, thank Okay, to everyone in Mrs. Carr's class, thank you for taking time to art. Art is important. It's as important as math, and you actually need it in your grown-up life, too. Mm -hmm. You do need math, though. Oh, yeah. That Just whole thing that sometimes they say, that's not true. I need math even yeah. in art. Don't, math is important. Don't color in math, and don't math in coloring. That's not true. I used to take notes. In but, you know, this is what they're going to do. Color more. <laughs> Definitely color. <laughs> they all matter and they relate to each other. But thank you for taking time for art today. Yes, thank you for joining us. So while, <laughs> <laughs> so now that we've gone out from our classroom, uh, Gail was asking, uh, is it okay to lightly wrap paintings in wax paper for shipping, parchment paper? You know, if you know that you're shipping in climate temperatures, right, 
So you can go to the Golden Just Paint website and they will give you the archivally correct and completely safe, safe way to ship and create a painting. Which is like... And it, it, is, it is factual. It is, yes. It is the truth. They're not lying to you. However... As a please, please don't get me in trouble with anybody. But I honestly would take this and just stick it in a box, like like a box <laughs> that I knew wasn't gonna get crushed and ship it. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I mean, like a good. Sometimes well, I put it in parchment paper. I like to make it nice. <laughs> the but this paint is really tough. I mean, like we yeah. use professional paint with prof you know with professional grade. Uh, clear well, coats. It's not even. It's not even that. I, you know, I'm not. If I'm shipping in the heat, I have more concerns and I'm more likely to take care um, than shipping in. Oh, I but, got. I got yeah. small children. <laughs> but one of the advantages of acrylic paint is it's a pretty resilient material, more or less. It is. I'll, I'll come get the, the the escaping puppy and Luna chaser. <laughs> There's a new element to our live broadcast. And her name is Twix. <laughs> she is so cute. I am just going around, and I encourage you to take this time, too, and go around your canvas. Oh, hi. She likes bubbles. She's so cute. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she's super cute. And she's very curious about what we're doing back here, and she wants to be everywhere we are. She's in that don't leave me alone ever stage. Ever, 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 because there's, there's monsters in this closet. I'm brave if it's you and me and my squeakum. So I'm just painting around him, and I'm just making sure that he's very green, and he feels wonderful, and I'm happy with him. I you know, at the end of the you. day... You're off. You're off. You ran away. What did I do? You moved away from me. Oh. At the end of the day, I think it's just important to um, love what you're painting. Feel good about it. Yeah. Right? I'm going to dry that so I can black line him. Are you? Okay. Yep. And I'm almost done. Are you? Wow. So while she's doing that, I'm going to say thanks, guys. We're, because, you know, again, we have this huge crowd of people with us. And we push this other button. Bink. There she <laughs> Getting her some bubbles in there. So, but we just love hanging out with you guys. Wanted to, just wanted to say thank you. And, you know, it's uh, love having you guys part of our family, part of our tribe, and being here with us. And, uh, you know. If you, uh, yeah, that's right. We do have a poll going on right now. So if you'd like to ju to, to help us vote, um, our new little puppy there is called Twix. And uh, if you go out to the artsherpa.com, let me go, look, a button has been pushed and you can see it. Um, you can vote on whether it's a left, twi whether she is a left Twix or a right Twix, which is one of the things we're, you know, sort of having fun with right now because we've been enjoying that. And, oh, we're also doing artist trading cards. ATCs are being doing that. We have, little, we have a club out there of people who are doing some some ATC stuff. So I'm excited about the artist training cards. Yeah, I was just yeah, they were just making you were just talking about that. Alan's been really leading up the charge on a lot yeah, of Yeah, Alan that, is so. leading the charge, ping him, run him down. He's on the website. Follow mm -hmm. him. And you Jan follow me too. Janine is out there going, Horde, horde, more horde. So if you're if Janine you're, also probably needs uh she needs these are Australian snowflakes where she's at Wagga Wagga. <laughs> snowflakes. We we have the same snowflake machine. I'm just like so tripped out of how what a crazy hour she's up at to be with us. It like just four constantly I don't know. freaks me out. So I'm loading my brush with my black paint, like you do. Like you do. And I'm gonna come up and at first I'm going to take this what we've now determined to be Shirley hair. And using this black lining, I'm going to create these little furtive marks that define it as hair. Can you guys really see those? I hope you can. I think they can. Oh, she's just like, never leave me alone. Also, now that I've seen her go after the bubbles, I feel like there's another game I want to go play. <laughs> so I'm just coming here. <laughs> just, woohoo! I'm going to make sure that the nose is nice and lined in. All right, that, that looks good. Another little place that I'm going to, he has little wrinkles, so I'm going to do those by making some little kind of hairlines up here. Yeah. See how those are done? Makes him feel a little bit hairy. Now listen, you might want to do this next part with the pencil first if you're not feeling super confident about it. Okay. Which is that above my lid, I'm going to make some eyebrows, and they're going to be kind of devious, 
and they're going to flick out and go right off the canvas. Can you oh, guys see yeah. that? Oh, yeah. But if you're not feeling confident about just freehanding that in like I am, it is okay to get your chalk pencil back out and go, where is this eyebrow going to go? <laughs> it's all right. Nothing wrong with it. I'm going to put another one here. Try not to drag my hand through the paint, which is my number one problem as an artist. Now, I'm going to make a nice lid line going off here. There you go. Look at this little Ooh, lid line. Oh, that is cool. Chuck, Chuck Jones had this thing where everything had these sort of delightful, sweet lash lines. And that is how he kept even devious characters, even characters that might not be that likable, sort of endearing. It's almost like you're doing a makeup Wish tutorial. Wish it worked on people as well. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it does. Maybe some makeup people will be like, no, no, it totally works on people. Lashes. Lashes. Maybe that's why everyone's like, I need some lashes. I want my lashes. I wear my lashes. Yes, we're going to put his little red eyes in at the end. All right. And she just really, really believes that she should be somewhere that she isn't right now. <laughs> I'm going to really make sure this is lined in beautifully where I'm happy. Okay. Right? You may be wondering why I didn't do the hand with the Christmas ball. Mm -hmm. And I felt like there was a lot of resource out there to learn that particular Grinch. Yeah. But there just wasn't a lot out there for this guy. Like, at all. Any. Not really, yeah. And that's mine. This is my Grinch. I love Jim Carrey. I think he's a tremendous talent, but this is my Grinch. He's the one you liked. He's the one I liked. So I have put the pupil right here, and then I'm going to conversely kind of put it right like here. Uh huh. So that he's sort of looking off to the side. Boy, she just uh -oh. thinks she's dying. I'll go We're going to get comments. I'll go bring her over there with Luna. YouTube animal rights comments. She's over there. She, I'll, I'll go put her in with Luna so she has somebody to play with. Is she so not with Luna? I think that she's just a little alone. Hold on. Okay. She just wants company. She just wants the cuddles. She likes the cuddles. So I'm just kind of making sure that I have these sort of in how I like them. If you make a mistake... And you paint it black where you don't want it. Allow it to dry. Paint over it with white. And then go back with the color that you originally had. So if I wanted to take this out, I would let it dry completely. Paint over it with white. Go back with the white and yellow. And then put it back in again. Don't, however, freak out. Because it's just paint. <laughs> always, always remember, it is just paint. I'm going to do a little kind of like little laugh line there underneath Ooh. him. I'm going to come right here. Some little grinning lines. Maybe a little coming off his eyes. Now, you're just real fast and expressive with those. Yeah, I work the tip of my brush. It's a little bit like a calligraphy moment. And I just try to keep it light and airy and not heavy. I allow my lines to be thicker and thinner and have little tapers. And that's something that helps me as an artist be successful in what I'm doing. Now, could you use acrylic pens for this? You could so use acrylic pens for this. I just recently had an art haul, and I am working on some stuff that are pen-centric. Acrylic pen-centric. Interesting. Where we can do some really beautiful pieces. And these are actually inspired kind of by a bunch of Australian art I've been seeing lately. Mmm. They, yeah. they, they have art in Australia? Pop. Yeah, they have really good art. Really? Yep. And it's not on kangaroos. It's not. It's not just kangaroos. No, but I still want to paint a kangaroo, <laughs> koala. Koalas. So I have created this sort of little bow line. You can kind of see it bows out, and that's the little center line on his face. I Very like, important. I feel like all of our Australians. I'm going to give him another little kind of squinking. Oh, I'm up to something. Face uh -oh. there. See how it makes him seem up to something. Mm-hmm. Right. But the long lashes make him seem endearing. Take another little bunch of smile lines off there. Because, you know, he doesn't have a smooth face. He hasn't had Botox. The Grinch has not succumbed to the, the pressure whims of who will. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm going to age peacefully. Maybe that's how this all started. I don't know. <laughs> it is perfectly okay <laughs> to get Botox. 
No need to comment. Oh, that's fine, man. <laughs> it makes you happy, then go for it. No, I'm just making a Grinch joke. I'm not making any <laughs> real social commentary. I'm just doing these little delicate lines. You can see I'm coming along my little fur lines. Mm -hmm. And I'm just making them very light and expressive. Mm. They're just delightful. They make me happy. The All right, look at that. He is lined in. Can you see the only thing left that we have to do? Uh, sign it? No, because... Oh, yeah, put the I, I, eyes in. Eyes and then sign it. Eyes and sign it. All right. Okay. So, so I have real CAD right here. This happens to be CAD red light, but here's my thing on this, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, any red you have here, we're not mixing it. If you're not mixing colors, then it's... Okay, so if you're on a tutorial, any tutorial, and they're talking about their color list, but they're not mixing the colors together outside of mixing in a black or a white. Mm -hmm. You can mix in a black or white. But, like, they're not mixing red and, you know, blue together. You can use any red or blue you have. Mm -hmm. now, 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 just, just in general, you really can because if it's not mixing, then you don't have to worry about is it warm, is it cool. I've just literally taken a glop over here oh. to super lazily with my detail number zero, which I love these little brushes. They're so cool. I'm just going to paint that in. Now, one, one, of our, one of our community here is saying that you don't, uh, you don't have to varnish a painting. Um, that is not correct. You don't. I mean, you other do. than, listen, in the context of you don't have to varnish a painting because the art police are not going to kick in your door and cuff you for not varnishing your art. I mean, of course they're not going to do that. Right. Right? There's not a law. Right. On the book somewhere that you have to varnish <laughs> your painting. You but must. But acrylic paint, and if you go to Liquitex, Golden, Matisse, um, Utrecht, Amsterdam, there's just every single acrylic website if you read about their painting, they're going to tell you, you need to varnish the painting not because they want to sell you varnish this is the thing about acrylic paint it's made of uh, acrylic polymer polymer molecules and they as the as the lake of them dries right uh -huh. they're still open they attract dust they do not seal they are porous they will pull dirt in guess how you have to clean a dirty acrylic painting with spit and a Q-tip. With spit and a Q-tip. Does that, that sound fun? Yeah. No. So to oh, prevent wait. your paint from attracting all the dust in your house, about three days after you paint one in this style, up to three weeks on an impasto painting, maybe longer, really read every varnish's specifications. Mm -hmm. Read it. You varnish it. Varnish. And then they're fine. They're not a duster. But, but I mean, in the sense that no one is going to come into your house kicking your door and say... You didn't varnish. But is it of course not. But for a completion process of saving it, a painting. For a completion process of saving your painting and not having a problem. And I'm not talking like in 50 years. I mean in a couple years. Well, I mean, like, I'm, I can say honestly, if you don't varnish it, it gets dusty within a month. It's just, it's like. Yeah, it, it, is. it really does attract dust. And, and everyone, like, kind of is like, oh, oils are like this and that, and that's why I don't paint with oils. Every paint has a positive and a negative. Yeah. Acrylics negative is that it's a swiffer. Yes, and that's that's the only, that's the real negative part is you really should put some sort of sealing coat and top coat and like you you can go way down that hole that rabbit hole yeah. because there's there's like isolation coats and you, you know can get crazy with it or you could just put a coat on it. Yeah, but I mean like for our effective purposes, a nice top coat of varnish will seal your painting, keep it from sticking to as much stuff. Help it, you know, not absorb, not not pull, not the, absorb all that dirt, the dirt and stuff. It just makes it also protects it from fading. If you used, a, like, say you used yep. um, a basic paint, right? Yep. That paint might fade out very quickly. Varnish can really slow that down. Now, can, let me ask you this: hmm. if if you're if you're doing a black light painting, that might but, be a I time. Mean, just don't feel bad about it. Like, if you didn't varnish a bunch of paintings, don't go around feeling bad about it. Just something to know about your medium. Yep. That's all it is. Something to know. Now, Sorry. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you use fluid acrylics, do you still have to varnish? Mm -hmm. If you use acrylics, craft acrylics, you still have to seal it. So it's all all of them using. Mod Podge is not a seal. Mod Podge. <laughs> I asked them directly. It's a wonderful all sorts of other things. It's a wonderful all sorts of other things, but it is sensitive to moisture in the air and therefore softens, gets tacky and sticky. So and therefore makes it worse. Varnish. Gloss, medium, and varnish. I've sh I have a video on it. I've shown it before, just talking about doing a coat of that. What people don't like about that product is that if you don't apply it with a soft enough brush or in thin enough coats, it can leave some brush marks in the varnish. Yeah. 
But and it's a, it's a it's a cheap and easy solution. There's so many varnish solutions. You can spray varnish. You can brush on varnish. Here is a fantastic varnish brush. Oh, so fantastic! That brush is for varnish. Totally a necessary step. Now that. Oh, sorry. Yep. They were only saying in, in, in the community, the only thing they were, they were adding a big asterisk to the no varnishing thing <laughs> because of black light. You don't varnish a black light painting. Yeah, so it can, the black light painting, so black light paint, and John can explain the light thing about this, is it needs UV. Ultraviolet. Ultraviolet. And a lot of the varnishes protect against that. Protect against it. Because I that, am yeah. talking to some paint companies to see how one seals those and not lose the UV reactive. Effect, the, yeah, but it can mess with the UV reactive effect. But here's here's the caveat to that. That's why there's an asterisk on black light. Isn't gonna last that long being black light. Anyways, that yeah. paint fades out real fast. It is for fun. I love it. I love doing it. I suggest you do it. I love glow in the dark, but it is not a forever paint. Like the yeah. tubes of Artist Loft black light have, they fade out on me in like a couple months, like six months. Gotcha. All right. In so, the tube. Yes. In the dark. Yeah, it's true. It's true. <laughs> so. so You've already gone non-archival at that point. <laughs> you know, you've, you've really stepped off the arc. Some art isn't meant to be forever, yeah. right? I'm sorry, I'm going to soapbox here for a second. Yeah. Because this is a big thing with me with artists. I get in John's for being this very passionate debate. Not all art is intended for a forever purpose. Oh, Some yeah. art is to be experienced temporally. It's, it's Temporally. Yeah, it's because just we're for all a time moment. Travelers. It's just for right now. Remember all those cute little kids playing hide and seek that you would paint and lean against your fence? That wasn't a forever craft. We don't all still have adorable little hide and seeky kids. Oh, is it making a lot of noise? <laughs> or is it not snowing? Oh, okay. You know, we don't also have that. That was a temporary thing. That's that's totally fine. Um, you know, even if you're a serious artist, and I think most real serious artists I know, most real serious artists I know, not all, of course, because people come in every flavor and shape and size and every kind of everything. So we can't be carbon copies. But most of them kind of share this, like, let's keep it fun element about them. Right? And I think that that is the best advice that I could give you is know your product. Know its limitations. Know what it needs. Understand it. Know when it's not you. It's your paint or your brush or your stuff. And keep it fun. Because what was, why, you have to ask yourself, what was my mission statement when I took up painting? To be, like, stressed out? No. <laughs> right? It was probably to relax and have a good time. And so if you're, you know, find your groove in your art process, it, in, in, art process, find your groove, keep it close to your heart. If something works for you, keep it. If you hate it, drop it like a hot potato. <laughs> Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Be like, oh, I don't. There's a lot of stuff. Like, I cannot do, I could not do correct painting storage. I have too many paintings. I'd have to have a warehouse designed to store my artwork. It's cray cray. But I have, I, 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 we have some ideas for some cool projects. In we this, do have in some ideas. John's up. been working on it because we've talked about we've been, this a this lot This is lately. an issue. So, we're, we're like, <sighs> coming up in the beginning of the year, we're going to have a lot of, we're looking at a lot of ways to help you guys address I'm just stuff. saying don't make varnish like a big thing. Just know oh, yeah, no. that acrylic paint is like a Swiffer and it attracts dust. And if you don't want it to be dusty, you will have to varnish. If you don't care, mm -hmm. don't worry about it. Yeah. That's all it is. Just like, you know, just, and you can always check anything. Anything you hear, myself, any YouTuber, any art teacher, any blogger, anybody out there, any guy at the art store say, you can run home, get on your computer, go to that paint company's website, look up whatever they said, and find out if it's true. Because those paint companies have chemists and testers and in-house artists that actually verify if something is factual or not. Mr. Ian just So you're in. so empowered to know nowadays used to be you'd have to really depend on your teacher but now you can be like yeah but does golden say that's true <laughs> and go find out because they work really hard to verify what's true because they never want you to fail it's, at your creative process ever they're really really focused on trying to make sure you guys have a good experience with their products so they have a lot of materials and resources that you can go and take advantage of they're there. free so, yeah they, they just want you to have the best experience so you know go and look at your manufacturers look at the back of their, your, your paint bottles all of them G generally speaking they've got a you know a, a good website where you can mm -hmm. go and find resources there find more about the paint that you have and you know and that's true i mean mod podge by the way it's not just golden paint mod, mod podge plaid paint same thing huge amount of resource for you, the consumer, 
Matisse, and you can read Liquitex, real quick. They're not, all yeah. Of those, yeah, they all have great websites. Yeah. And they're not just trying to sell you something like, as soon as you read that article, you're thinking, this is definitely not marketing. <laughs> no, no. You, de you go to a paint company's website to see paint dry. That's even about the even interest, Liquitex, which is so marketing driven, right? Yeah. If you go to their back factual end, it's factual. Yeah, it's like watch paint dry, learn more. Yeah, it's watch paint dry, learn more. Oh, and they all have YouTube channels. Which, well, not where all, they, or maybe, I don't most know. Most of them. Most of them. Most of the big companies have some type of YouTube channel. There's good resources. And there's so much information. And a lot of times those apply to other companies. So you can really start to understand. So if you, is somebody in your art life, artist friend, doesn't matter what comes from, says something, you're like, I wonder if that's true. You can absolutely ferret that out. It's fantastic. I'm sorry, it's exciting to me. Because I just, <laughs> it didn't used to be that way. Before Google, you were so dependent on, did you read the artist handbook, which is like reading oh, the Necronomicon of art. It's just like peeling the wrinkles out of your brain. It's the worst. You would never... Painter's, hand, painter's handbook. Anyway, that, that's a good <laughs> review. I'm sorry, painter's handbook. It's just, it's about that thick. It is. It's huge. But I, now you can just go on Google, and I have the painter's handbook. I periodic, I read every revision. I'm in the middle, like halfway through the middle of the current revision. Uh huh. I'm so grateful for Google. <laughs> You know, sorry, I, I'm I got gonna all say serious. thankful. We had a huge crowd. I didn't and I, sign. I'm gonna sign my work. I got all serious. Did you know that Mr. Ian, the, Ian is here with us right now? Who's here? Ian. Hi, Ian. Our off kilter crafter. Off kilter crafter. So he's he's got his his jaw still a little I, sore. I love the names Oops. of our YouTube friends. Off kilter crafter, deliberately creative. Frugal crafter. Frugal. We know a lot about all of them by their names, don't we? We do. Hey, they. They're, they're, they're <laughs> it's pretty. Chris plays games. <laughs> Guess what they do? <laughs> <laughs> but everyone's like, "What's a Sherpa?" <laughs> That's true. It's true. But, I you know, signed it. It's okay to sign your work, by the way. You don't have to. It's nice to. And I want to say thank you, you guys, because we've had oh, you know, we've, we've had like th over 300 people here. At, at, at a lot of during the, we have like 300 people most of the time, and we've got like 400 likes right now. And this. Do you want to show them the door before we go out so they know what they got Thursday? The door. Oh yeah, I'll grab that real quick. We're gonna show you the door. I did the door as you requested from the other quest. If you don't know the big art quest, I did this show you how to do stucco and then I went a little crazy and made this finished painting. And so here's the part of the painting you were missing. The Ooh. whole thing. You just put it on the easel. Oh, that's true. Look. The whole thing. It shows itself off. Will be there Thursday. So if you were like, I did keep my promise. It's I already know edited. I'm slow. It's I'm all not done. saying I'm not slow. I, I just we were gonna redo it because it was it's long. It's, it's a two big and one. a half hours just to but to but show you how to do the door at this level and all of this at this level. It just took that long. I mean, it was I mean it was fun. One I mean, like, point I, perspective quest helps a little bit with the steps. Yeah, it was. We, you know, it was a ni it's really nice because she did a lot of stuccoing stuff in there and showed you how to how to. I was really amazed at like how the washes and things worked. So, you know, for me it was kind of a fun edit to do. Um, and, I, and you guys kept saying, I'm painting for 12 hours anyway, so I don't mind if it's two and a half hours long. And I just thought, all right, let's make that a, the follow-up quest so it's complete. Yep. I don't you guys are good. And you know, we're coming up on January 7th really soon. All you pairs, are you ready? I'm just goofing. John just left. I don't know where he's going. He's going to get something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're so funny. If you knew how dorky we were behind camera, I don't know y'all would still speak to us. I'm gonna come say thank you guys. Thank you. We have over 400, 400 likes. Over 300 people I'm gonna be like an time. idol, but not because I'm not that cool. Four, four, number four. Vote for four. Upvote for four. Tell your all friends my that they can paint. And things are over Tell here. them everywhere on Instagram and Twitter. Hashtag Art Sherpa is my hashtag. I can find you with that. I'm gonna see you guys at the easel really oh, soon. Oh, wait, if you're gonna do that to me, you just got to it's give me like two seconds to oh. make sure I have all my buttons pushed oh, okay. and ready for you. I was you just to... saying I love them and good. Well, the you hope can they're totally good. And I hope they're getting through their holidays and that we're gonna see them live on Sunday. But they got VODs on Thursday and Saturday, and you're gonna be blown away. Are they? Yeah. I, I I really think the birch trees, the awakening birch trees is one of the best pieces I've done, except that I did another better piece recently. <laughs> so I don't know what's going on with me. I'm like in an art explosion. And remember, I think Angela is on later today. Oh yeah, that's right. So 
we'll all be hanging around staying there's a true. whole bunch of live going on today i think you can stay on live all day if you yeah, talk to your friends you guys can work it out and if there isn't a live you can go to the artsherpa.com and chat to each other live so you could literally just hang out and art all day yes <laughs> so have fun with that so okay i'm gonna actually have to go back to art because i gotta make a really cool we do we gotta go black I guess. dress thing we love hanging out with you guys <laughs>